technically this shit has to do with seminar two and four to varying degrees remember all the seminars are connected <laughs> um so people you and i bump into and one too many people i've interacted with online um they insist that there are so many fucking answers and that they are so woke and smart and enlightened and the shit that I've complained about. But these are the same kids that will tell you, peace. Do you know what I'm talking about? Some of you might have heard me complain about this. Some of you might have heard what this does represent because it doesn't represent peace. <clears throat> This is victory. It has to do with conquer and divide. Blue versus red, Hegelian dialectic. It's in place to fuck us up. It's in place to train the masses to repeat something contrary to what reflects reality. If you've ever seen, and these are superficial images, mind you, uh, because the image of what people think of as Baphomet is relatively new. Um, it's associated with, uh, what was it, uh, Eliphas Levi? But he took it from something else, which most people don't know about. Um, some people do, because it's currently being corrupted, and it's also becoming a banner in many ways um, among some of the low-level uh, circuits in terms of the alphabet community that's funded by the Rockefeller Trust, <clears throat> among other things, and intimately connected with the Tavistock Institute and the eugenics agenda, something Darwin's entire family was part of. So back to point, when you see people flash this, it should be this because you would be uniting things, you know, under a banner of peace, not dividing them. This is the cross of Nero. Now, if you and I are surrounded by a shit ton of people that rattle shit like this off superficially, how likely do you think it is that things that are well financed and well circulated, such as light having speed, actually holds water? It's echoed. Again and again and again, which means it's part of the fucking programming. It's part of the propaganda mill. It's part of the paradigms, which are rabbit holes that go nowhere, mean nothing, and are fuck all. How likely do you think it is that the flat earth and or the globe theory or both of them have anything to do with reality and aren't prepackaged outlines for morons to repeat in place to fuck us up? Best of all, how many things do you use every single day that you've never challenged? You've never fucking challenged. So I said seminar two. I was having a laugh the other day. Have you ever seen a sign that says, uh, ye old shop, you know, with old English, you know, Y-E, you know, in sign language, ASL at least, Y-E, you know, ye old shop. <clears throat> you ever seen that? This one's funny because it does mean both, but most people have never looked into it. So if you do look into it, it goes back to one of these other characters that was thrown out a very long time ago. Picture the letter D with a, technically a thorn through it, um, or you could think of a branch going through the letter D. Where's that? And it was called Thorn. But over time, it was corrupted, it, it, it changed, not unlike the, uh, you know, you think of this with a little cross in here as the letter A, and yet it used to be the ox. Um, it was completely inverted, um, among other things. Also, do think of Samsung and a bunch of other iterations where you have an A in there, and now the bar is gone for a reason, and people don't understand why that is. I'm not going to spoon feed you that one, but it is an agenda. And people don't get it. <laughs> so back to point. So Old English Thorn. Later it became a Y. And this is what you see at the beginning of Ye Old Shop. Yeah? You still with me? So eventually it did become the. And it was the. But it also meant ye. <laughs> so it's both technically. When you think of, uh, you know, how you would pronounce it in terms of the English alphabet. You know, Ye Old Shop. But technically it was the shop. Because of the letter thorn. Silly shit. And yet it's not. Granted, you and I are finite creatures. We have an expiration date, which means it's impossible 
to run through every single fucking thing, dig up the deepest roots possible, and try to figure out where these things originated, why they are what they are, and how they've been corrupted, which most people would dress up as evolving, which is also an agenda. It's nonsense. It's not how shit works. It's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. Most people aren't doing their due diligence. I keep stressing that. Our masters are doing away with attention spans. They're shitting out narcissistic, superficial little duds that are fucking everything up. And if you look around, now there are entire generations that are afraid of, or an an entire generation that is uh, afraid to breathe oxygen without wearing something on their fucking face. An entire generation that doesn't think this is a binary system, even though every single day, typically speaking, you know, they're going to eat food and they're going to take a shit, which means they're a binary creature. We could go under the, you know, the rule of, you know, what is it? uh, Three minutes without air, three weeks without food, blah, blah, blah. But still, people will eat food and take a shit. You're going to get hot and cold, blah, blah, blah. Man and woman, that's how babies are made. Night and day, cold and hot, sunrise, sunset, and the list goes on. But you and I are surrounded by people who don't have a fucking clue. They don't mean to, and they are fucking everything up. If you hung out with me, thanks for hearing me complain as usual. Um, This is my least favorite shit. (laughs) I'd love to be surrounded by people who gave a damn and were willing to put in the time. Simple as that. I had somebody tell me online today, we don't care, I don't care. What do I usually echo? Complacency got us this far.